Okay, testing, testing. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, let's start. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Before we begin our show this evening, let us begin with a prayer. Let us now put ourselves in the holy presence of God. In nomine Patris, et Fili, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Prayer for the protection of hands in inclusion, Philippines. God, our Father, we implore you to ask for the enlightenment and rescue and repentant success of the organization, Hands in Inclusion, Philippines. We ask for the repentance of the group from the false judgments of other people, including its former members. Rescue us from false sense of power and deliver us from the lesson of revenge that comes from the devil. Keep us in putting God first, whatever is the religion of their core team, including the founder, while being inclusive to all those who are in need of inclusion, especially persons with disabilities, LGBTQI+, people confused with their gender, ethnic groups, and poorest of the poor whom you also love. Help us to stop ourselves from manipulation of other people and resorting to unjust judge, conspiracy, and violence which might affect the people they are trying to serve. We beg for its founder and his core team to be enlightened to see the lies behind the false doctrines and impure and violent motives of the false accusations we make and believe and open the eyes to the truth of the pride that he holds. Help us humble ourselves, O Lord. Help us to realize that fear, envy, anger, and unforgiveness comes from Satan, and may he stop whatever pride that he is holding. Please allow us to know ourselves a child of God. We also pray for those people who are blamed by hands and inclusion Philippines to repent from the sins they are guilty of without resorting or believing in any false accusations made by either them or any enemy they encounter. Forgive us from our accusations in any form and from all the wrong things. In your eyes, the organization did. This we ask in your name. Amen. Our Lady, help of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saint Clare of Montefalco, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Our Lady, help of all Christians, intercede for us. Saint Monica, pray for us and our family and friends. Saint Augustine, Pray for us and our family and friends. Saint Michael the Archangel, Saint Benedict, Pope Saint Pius the Tenth, and Pope Saint John Paul the Second, rescue us from our unintended wrongdoings. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy and change the heart of everyone, all our organizations, and all the people who formerly worked with the organization who made terrible mistakes and those the people who took part. In a conspiracy to falsely accuse anyone and hands in inclusion. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us from our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are those amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In nomine Patris, Fini, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. The 
mga pananaw at opinion ng pag-uulat ng mag-uulat sa programang ito ay hindi ang pangunahin posisyon o pahayag ng pamunuan ng organisasyon ito. The views and opinions expressed in this live report are those of the presenter and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of the management of this organization. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Editorial. Today is Monday, May 3, 2021. I'm your host, Carlos Miguel Kanahashi, and we're broadcasting simultaneously on Inclurajo and Hansen Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. To start off with our show this evening, here now is our daily verse for today from Isaiah chapter 25 verse 1. Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you and praise your name. For in perfect faithfulness, you have done wonderful things, things planned long ago. We will begin our topic proper in just a moment, and we will be back after these commercials. Now this. Thank you. 
Okay, welcome back to Editorial sa Inko Radio. Okay. This evening, we will discuss to you about art and its historical context. To state a basic premise, culture as part of the superstructure can only be fully understood when viewed in relation to the material base of society. For the superstructure, while it is relatively autonomous in its ideological levels, is determined by the economic in the last instance. There are four types of um, context in terms of his historical context of art. Feudal ideology means the division of land. Colonial ideology is the domination of the foreign monopoly capital. Bourgeoisie, comprador ideology, high art and low art. In the state ideology, old idealistry of the true, the good, and the beautiful. In the ideology of history, ideas are seen to constitute in themselves the motive force of the historical process and therefore the institutions in which ideas are produced and the channels of their dissemination constitute the lifeblood of social life. The reason less than 50 years of American colon colonization have had such far-reaching effects on the economy and culture lies in the fact that American colonial policy plays priority on education. If something must be understood or analyzed in historical context, it means the historical circumstances in which it was produced very much affected the work, its themes, its techniques, its message, etc. Without an understanding of the era, a full understanding of the treaties would be impossible. Adding the word art, so the phrase simply means that the work must be analyzed within the frame of art history with an eye to contemporary developments and trends in the art world. Art has existed almost as long as humankind itself and serves as a vehicle for the expression and communication of ideas and emotions. The canon of art history, however, has historically conveyed the political, religious, and philosophical ideals of the dominant power. Art history categorized artworks and theories with a heavy reliance on the context or environment that the artwork is created in. Art history is the academic study of art objects in their historical development and stylistic context. A work of art from a particular historical period can be treated as an original source of information that was created at that time under study and provides information about that time. Art historians study the conceptual forces that shape artists and their oeuvres, including their teachers and the influences of preceding styles, their patrons and their demands, their audiences and their general social, economic, political, and cultural climate. These factors produce and influence different artistic styles and iconography, which are characteristic of their age and geographical location with reference to visual appearance, technique, and form. In many ways, the historical backbone of art history is a celebratory chronology of beautiful creations of art commissioned by religious or civic institutions or wealthy individuals. Patronage of the art has been used throughout history to endorse the ambitions and agenda of these institutions and individuals. It has been particularly important in the creation of religious art. For example, the Roman Catholic Church was an enthusiastic sponsor of the arts that resulted in a tremendous outpouring of architecture, painting, sculpture, and decorative crafts in medieval and Renaissance Europe. Art's context of perception depends on a variety of circumstances, both in the art of the artist as well as the artistic community and climate that the artist is participating in. Throughout human history, 
art has been created across a range of media for many different reasons and to serve many different functions. Some of these purposes are intrinsic to the human instinct for harmony and balance, as well as the human desire to experience mysterious things and express the human imagination. Art can transcend the concept of utility or external purpose. These ideas are called the non-motivated purposes of art. However, Art also comes from intentional conscious actions that aim towards receiving external goals, and those qualify as the motivated purposes of art. Motivated purposes usually arise in the artwork's historical context, which consists of a multitude of different factors, including the social, uh, economic, and cultural settings of the period, the artist's patrons, and the artist's intended audience. Primarily, art is a form of communication and like most forms of communication, has intents and goals directed toward other people. It may be used for entertainment, seeking to evoke particular emotions or moods in viewers, or for social inquiry and political change by portraying aspects of society in complementary or critical ways. Throughout the course of history, much of art has been traditionally been patronized by wealthy and powerful individuals, as well as various civic and religious institutions. Patronage of the arts was typically used as a means of expressing and endorsing social and cultural agendas and of displaying personal prestige. Works of art commissioned by wealthy patrons usually reflect their desires and aims. In summary, patronage of the arts and art history by extension has been used throughout history to endorse the ambitions and agenda of the dominant power of any given age. Art history is the academic study of objects of art in their historical development and stylistic context. Art conveys religious and philosophical themes and judgments that arise as much from the artist's environment as they do from his or her creative impulse. Some of the contextual forces that shape artists and their work are their teachers and the influences of preceding styles, their patrons and their demands, their audiences and their general social, economic, political, and cultural climate. And that's the end of our topic proper this evening. Let us now move on to the announcements part of the show. But we will be back, guys. The commercial one tayo. We will be back in just a while. Stay tuned. Okay. All right. Welcome back to editorial. Let us now have some announcements for today. We have products for sale at the Hands and Inclusion online shop. We're like we're proudly presenting you the One Inclusion Nation T-shirts. So the price of the Hands and Inclusion One Inclusion Nation T-shirts range from 400 pesos to 450 pesos and sizes range from extra small to double extra large for the hands and inclusion tote bags it ranged from 220 pesos to 260 pesos and it ranged from small to large if you want a text in the back you need to pay an additional 50 peso charge we have the hands and inclusion stickers we include our yes is 250 pesos and the ini ibiko ang mga PWDs is 150 pesos. The mode of payment is you, can, you may pay via GCash and or PayMaya on this number flash in your screen 0917-701-9684. Again, that's 0917-701-9684. And we are accepting payments from Palawan and Cebuana. 
if we're, if you, you you can do so by messaging Hansen Inclusion Facebook page. It will deliver to you via Talk Talk, Lala Move, Gogo Express, Grab, Mr. Speedy Philippines. In areas under the NCR Plus Wabon, NCR, Bulacan, Cavite, Laguna, and Rizal. And the rest, it will be delivered to you nationwide by LBC. Do you want to donate for Hanson Inclusion? Well, it will be appreciated for you if you donate to Hanson Inclusion. Regardless, no matter what, it doesn't really matter if the amount is smaller or larger. It will be appreciated for you to donate Hanson Inclusion via GCash and or Pay Maya on this number flash in your screen. 0917-701-9684. Again, that's 0917-701-9684. For those who did, thank you for your continuous support to Hands and Inclusion and also for your generosity as well. Hands and Inclusion is looking for the following. Volunteer researchers, volunteer captioners, volunteer YouTube uploader. And if your qualifications are if you're willing to work as a volunteer, if you have a laptop or desktop and a strong and reliable internet connection, if you are committed to work, if you have good attitude and character, and if you are a college graduate. If you're interested to do so, you may send your resume at hansin.inclusion at gmail.com. Again, that's hansin.inclusion at gmail.com. This month, Hansen Inclusion will have Inclu Training Computer Basics. Updates will be posted within this month on the Hansen Inclusion Philippines Facebook page. On May 21, 2021, Friday, from 4 o'clock in the afternoon to 6 o'clock in the evening, De La Salle College of St. Vinyield, in collaboration with the Center for Inclusive Education, Hub of Innovation for Inclusion, Peter D. Garucho Jr. Innovations Institute and the Benilgen Student Envoys will have a webinar about sensitivity and empathy. The event will be done via Zoom and our speakers are Dr. Therese Bustos and Mark Antiqueño. The event is free and there will be sign language interpreters available. If you're interested to join, you may visit the Eventbrite website for this and check also the Facebook accounts of the Center for Inclusive Education, the Hub of Innovation for Inclusion, the Benilgen Student Envoys, and the Peter D. Garucho Jr. Innovations Institute. There will be sign language interpreters for the hard of hearing and deaf as well. Okay. Do you want to follow Hansen Inclusion on social media? Well, it will be appreciated for you guys to follow us on social media follow us on facebook hansen inclusion ph instagram hansen inclusion ph kumu hni philippines and subscribe to our official youtube channel hansen inclusion filipinas in addition you may want to follow Inclurajo in sports Inclunihan online shop and Inclu gaming on facebook and the Inclu gaming youtube channel but also did Thank you for your continuous support to Hanson Inclusion. Okay, so just wait. And uh, okay. This year, 2021, Anthony Inclusion is celebrating its fourth anniversary with the theme Bagong Tapang sa One Inclusion Nation. This is the true taste of Hansen Inclusion and a one inclusive nation. Hansen Inclusion is a community of volunteers that involves with the sharing of stories of persons with disabilities and its advocates. Inclusion is our thrust and we continue to be uh, our brothers and sisters and the eyes and the ears and the voices of our brethren in order for us to advocate 
as persons with disabilities and its advocates as well. Answering Inclusion was founded by Roylan Gorospe Marlang, a self-advocate with autism and a Benilgen alumni from Pasay City. The initiative was started as Inclusion in Action on March 8, 2017. Over the past four years, we had achievements that we have done. In 2017, we began first as Inclusion in Action, and then on on April 2021, Inclusion in Action began to experiment on how to help persons with disabilities in need. June 12, 2017, Philippine Independence Day, Inclusion in Action became known as Hands in Inclusion, and that is the name that we are using in its present day. In 2018, in, we have the Inclusion Ako campaign, which inspires the battle cry of Ginebra, and we also have the, the second logo of Hansen Inclusion was unveiled. It is about Filipino unity and love. In 2019, the opening of the Hansen Inclusion online shop to the public and the unveiling of the current logo of Hansen Inclusion, which is designed by Mike Ambion, one of my fellow Benilgians. We also have the first commercial, Alam Namin Po Yun. We also have the relaunch of hands and inclusion during the seminar of the association for adults with autism philippine seminar at the rotary club of makati in november 11 to 15 2019 hands and inclusion management participated in the bazaar in celebration of the 2019 death awareness month that was held in royland's alma mater which is the la salle college of saint vinyl in manila and then later in november um, the hands and inclusion management received gifts to Isco Moreno of Manila. Last year, we have the Makabagong Autismo sa Kinalawamput Isa Siglo. The Hini Inclusion Stay at Home Concert. We have Inclunihan. We have our second commercial, One Inclusion Forever. We have songs, One Inclusion Nation, One Inclusion Forever, and the Tinig ng Mga Nawalan or Alaala ng Inclusion. We also have the interviews in the inclusive report from June and July last year. We have the unveiling of the merchandises. We also have uh, the, the, the unveiling of the fourth anniversary logo in celebration of the 500th centennial year. And also the part of Royland's participation in the webinar of Ateneo Speed as a speaker. And this year, we had four webinars, Autism Testimonials, Connecting with Down Syndrome, Usaping Inclusion para sa Kababaihan, and Kwentong Autismo. And we also have uh, the, re the, re the relaunch of Inclo Radio. We also have the, 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 the new slogan, Bagong Tapang sa One Inclusion Nation, the unveiling of the Hands in Inclusion t-shirts, on eight, last April 27, 2021, in celebration of the 500th quincentennial year of the Battle of Mactan. We also have uh, other events this year that are related to Hansen Inclusion are the Spread the Word virtual event between Best Bodies Philippines and Special Olympics Philippines, World Down Syndrome Day 2021, um, that is a joint between the Down Syndrome Association of the Philippines, Best Bodies Philippines, and A Child's Dream Foundation Incorporated. And the event that you will never forget is this. The Karana Semi ng Pansamantalang Pagsasara no June 6, 2020, hindi kami nawala ng pag-asa at biyaya. And at Hands in Inclusion, we continue to put God first, truth first, people first and to promote our culture in our civilized society. Well, the best gift for us for this fourth anniversary is this. I would like to appeal to the current and former members of Hands in Inclusion to observe proper decorum so that we will not have any problems. Maging isang mabuting halimbawa tayo. We shall learn how to show good attitude and show to be professional, especially in the organization. Act like a neutral person. 
Your cooperation and our undivided attention is highly appreciated. We must learn how to be considerate, to understand each other, and to be self-controlled. And also, it was done for us in order for us to be peaceful and systematic. Ito ay ginagawa para magiging mapayapa at maayos tayo ng matagal. Bukod po sa ating pasensya at pangunawa, tiniling namin sa ating mga manunuo na hiling namin ang iyong tulong at panalangin sa namang rehilyon ninyo na sana bumalik ang handsome inclusion sa panghinaharap at hiniling ninyo ito sa Panginoon. At sana magkaroon tayo ng bagong simula sa ating organisasyon. To those of you guys are watching, apart from your patience, and understanding, we need your help and prayers for the anticipated return of Hands in Inclusion Philippines in the future as a formal organization and expect a brand new start. And I will share you a quote from the song Bagong Simula by Jem Makatuno. Magliliwanag din ang kalangitan Mapapatila rin ang ulan Pagsikat ng araw Muli mong matatanaw Ang islap ng pag-asa May bagong simula May bagong simula Ngayong ikaapat na anibersaryo May bagong tapang sa One Inclusion Nation. H&I, God first. Okay, that's now the time for our shoutouts and greetings. First, For our birthday celebrants, we have Daisy Pakaira and James Kendrick Ya. Happy birthday and expect the more birthdays to come. I would like to say good evening and thank you to the following. To Hans in Inclusion, to uh, Roylan Marlang, Billy Makuse, Archie Kunanan, Asher Santos, Christian Chan, Gino Ignacio, uh, John Red, Jennifer, Johaira, Kevin, um, Jane. By the way, um, welcome to Hands Inclusion, Mom Jane. Marian, Mary Jane, Javier, Myra, PJ, Rich, Rita, Roy Galfo, Romualdo, Ronald Manlanpao, Samantha Season, Tara, PJ Permarejo, Bell, Mam Veronica, Cedric, and Kuya Yo. Also to Angat PWD United, especially to um, Mam Gloria, Sir Henry, uh, Sir Eliseo, Sir Archie, Mam Carmen, Mam Veronica. Mam Chiki and um, uh, good evening po and thank you uh, to Best Buddies Philippines, to Mam Michelle Aventajado, Nino Aventajado, Gia Aventajado, Jessica Malka, uh, Kyle Ebora, Alan Nang, Angela Batallones, Ali Rojas. Um, Nancy Ignacio, Pia Guanyo Mago, also to um, 
to uh, from Best Buddies Philippines uh, to uh, Nico Belasco. Good evening and thank you. The Best Buddies uh, Benilde, Joey Laurito, Clarissa Gonzalez, uh, Bobby Anonas, Jamie Javier, Nina Calderon, Bea Aguila, Bianca Montemayor, Kiran Fanega, Brian Pabustan, Mary Rose Ake, uh, Genevieve Gutierrez, uh, to uh, Sabrina Buenafe, Patricia Toralba, to um, Sir Martin Romero, and uh, and also in Best Buddies Benil to uh, Tamara. We also have Emily Manalansan, Janeline Apo, Summer Vinyas, Grace Sandoval, and the others. Good evening, Po, to Best Buddies Benil. To Autism Society Philippines, to Mamona Magnavilius. Good evening, Po, and thank you. Autism Strong Philippines, to Raymark Badillo. Arden Asuncion and Joel Nava, good evening po and thank you. To the Association for Adults with Autism Philippines, to Dr. Lirio Covey, good evening po and thank you. Project Inclusion Network, to uh, Sir Jim Nemeno, Ma'am Katinin, and Ma'am Pauline, good evening po and thank you. We also have the Down Syndrome Association of the Philippines, good evening po and thank you. A Child's Dream Foundation Incorporated to Dr. Francis de Malata. Good evening po and thank you. To the Special Olympics Philippines, to Ms. Hashi Montagna and Camille Pinson. Good evening po and thank you. And also to my family. Good evening. Hi! And also to thank you also and good evening po sa mga nakikipanood sa atin. And also... To so those who are watching, it may be a good morning, good afternoon, and good evening wherever you are in the world. And of course, to God, the Divine Providence, the Almighty God. Sana nasa mabuting kalagayan ninyo. If not, you may use this time to improve your mental health and your well-being as well. Sana magustuhan mo tong topic na to sa editorial. It might, it might be interesting for you guys. And if you want to watch this again, you will watch this again via Intro Radio and on Hansen Inclusion YouTube channel. Okay. And that will be all for editorial for Monday, May 3, 2021. I will be back again on Wednesday for the editorial Wednesday edition. On behalf of Inko Radio and Hats and Inclusion Philippines, I'm your host, Carlos Miguel Kanahashi. Thank you, good night, and may the Almighty God bless us all. Pagpalain po tayo ng poong may kapal. We include our yes. We at Hands and Inclusion include us and include each other. One inclusion forever. Ngayong ikaapat na anibersaryo, may bagong tapang sa One Inclusion Nation. H and I, God first. Thank you, good night, bye for now, and thank you for watching. Maraming salamat, magandang gabi. At Mabuhay. Bye-bye.
Oh, <laughs> 